Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on a owl piece in a tribal type of style. Um, I've been watching a lot of the YouTuber Kipto. This is Kipto. And I really love the way that he uh, blends his colors and uh, his just overall style. So I kind of wanted to try my hand at some of the things that are similar to what he does mostly the uh, using the tribal-esque type of style and some of the way that I uh, that I use my colors all the music that you're gonna hear is new beats by me that I've made in the last like week so these are brand spanking new beats I love this painting so much and with that said let's just go ahead and get into the video So uh, I started off with my pencil sketch as always and um, I really really enjoyed making this pencil sketch It was kind of, it was really easy for me to uh, just make up my own little designs because that's just something that I'm just into I'm into the, the geometry. I'm in the graffiti and things of this nature So uh, I did use a reference, but uh, by the time I got to the end of the pencil sketch It looked nothing like the reference. Thank God. So uh, I'm glad that it's it, it really feels like an original piece of So for this one, uh, the keeping the lines and all of that visible the whole time was really important to me. So you'll see me, I, I probably did at least uh, three ink jobs or uh, black uh, outlines throughout the course of this piece because it was very important that I keep those lines. Um, you'll see that when I did the background, um, I used the, I, I went back again to my metallic paint and I love it so much. I love the way that the gold background looks. It's like goldish bronze is color. Uh, I think it came out really sweet. And by this point we're getting in, like I have the background done and then I've done like my second layering of a uh, black outline on it. And I thought it looked pretty fucking cool. Like it is like right here at the part where it looks uh, just the black and white outline. <laughs> As I get into doing the wings, I really saw the piece like coming together. Like um, I was using a technique that I've used before on a few other paintings, but I'm definitely gonna start using it so, so much more. And that's by diluting the uh, acrylic paint with, uh, with water and then uh, just putting that on there first as that first bottom layer. Uh, it's so much easier to work with. Uh, it reminds me a lot of using like watercolors but uh, by doing that, you eliminate the chance of getting those little white specks to, <laughs> that the paint 
paint doesn't go through and you get a little more freedom as to where you're going to uh, make it more solid um, I get into using some of like the style that, I've, that I'm kind of borrowing from Kipto by uh, using the, the darker color and then going with a lighter color on top um, I think that this is going to change my whole arsenal of uh, techniques that I can bring out for the future so that's very 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 exciting stay tuned to see uh, how this develops Alright guys, so as you can see, I'm starting to use more colors and if you've watched my channel, you'll know that I usually like to stick with like maybe two or three main colors in my painting. This one, I'm going all out there. I'm using like five different color schemes, but they all blend so well. Again, props to Kipto from uh, introducing me to, because uh, his style, he, he does the same thing by using only a few colors, but by using a darker color and then going into uh, a lighter color, uh, it looks good when you're doing that with multiple colors. Like as you can see, um, for the red parts, I use like the, the crimson red for the bottom part of, or the bottom part of the, that piece, and then I use uh, a carmine red to kind of give it a little bit of an accent, just as well as the blue part. Like I'm using a midnight blue, and then I'm going over on top of that with just a regular blue. Um, these are great paints, my baby got them for me. Thank you, baby. <laughs> guys as we get to wrapping up the painting uh, I just want to reiterate on the fact of how much I love how this piece turned out and uh, how much I'd love to keep going in this direction if you guys like the uh, tribal animals and these type of things let me know in the comments and then um, I, I, I mean I'm gonna keep going with it anyway but uh, that little bit of reassurance wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't hurt much right <laughs> Alright guys, with that, it's going to be another week knocked out. Thank you so much for coming back. I know I've said in previous videos that I don't really see the uh, the, the progression with my pieces. Uh, I see it now. I'm definitely starting to fall more in love with my pieces after they sat for a while. I tell you guys all the time, oh, this is my favorite painting ever, this is my favorite painting ever, all the time. But now I'm starting to really feel like uh, these pieces are going to be long lasting favorites because just like with the uh, samurai witch I want to go in and change some things on that 
uh, the Mega Man jump off. There were some things that I wish I would have done with that, but the last few pieces, I think um, I'm like just happy with. They can just stay the same. Again, please let me know if you like this tribal S type of style because I'd really like to stick with it for a little while. Peace and all the love in the world to all of you guys that keep coming back to my videos, y'all, and my motherfucking peoples. Love that shit. Um, I will catch you guys next week for another video. We ain't stopping, guys. We're fucking, we're fucking gone. <laughs> Peace, love, guys.